Liverpool versus everybody. Um, we are back. Myself, Gary, and uh, Mame did a um, uh, hangout uh, talk before the game, or a, kind of a build-up pre-match uh, with just our thoughts and things like that, breaking the game down. Um, however, the sound just wasn't great on it, which was a shame because it was a great talk as usual. A shout out, Gary, man. Um, can't help Mother Nature. It's shitty weather there in UK, which I guess is the case usually around this time. And it's getting colder here, which I love. I love the winter, so I'm happy about it. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get back together, um, me and you guys, uh, post-match. Um, hopefully, all goes well. But I'm um, just, just coming on solo to talk about the game. And uh, I just finished listening to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, or whatever his name is, uh, his pre-match. And um, this looks like a guy shaking in his boots, man. And he's saying all the things that I guess he feels is right to say. I can't really knock him on that. We heard Klopp say about, you know, Ole saying that uh, this is a perfect game for them and Klopp's ideas and attitude is, you know, we got to make it so is where he thinks or, or so where he can feel like that was the wrong thing to say. Not verbatim. I don't know exactly what Klopp said, but basically he was saying, Let's make sure we prove that he was wrong in thinking that this was a, the, the, a good game for his team to play. Or a good team for his, a good opponent for his team is basically what he was saying. Um, and it's true, I agree with that. Look, I'm not going to knock Ole again. I mean, he's on there talking about transfer windows and shit as if that's going to make things better. Uh, or maybe I just, I'm taking his words out of context. But, um, you know, this is probably the worst United team most of us have seen. You know, if you're like me between the ages of, you know, 28 and 37, <laughs> it, it's probably the worst we've seen. Um, and, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, it's, it's one less team we got to worry about contending uh, for this title. So, you know, as, as bad as they are, these, these games can be tight because of what it is, the game. I mean, last season they weren't much better than they, were, they are now, in my opinion. Had a few injuries in that first half. We still couldn't beat them. So I get the whole hoodoo about us going to, 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 to the old toilet, but... Listen, this, this should be three, three points in the bag. It really should be. And all due respect, I guess, to United, um, I think they'll try to put up a good performance. I can't imagine them coming, try to match us blow for blow, probably sit back on the counter, try to catch us out, set piece, um, hopefully get us to make some mistakes, maybe try to target Trent. Maybe that's still something that, that United is doing these days, um, the teams in general, I would imagine. But um, shout out to Trent, by the way. Um, young Guinness is what I call him, Young Guinness, um, breaking that record. Obviously, all, everybody knows. Most assists by a defender in history, uh, at least in the Premier League, if not all football, I don't know. But um, I'm just excited for this game, man. This international break has seemed longer than usual, probably because of the magnitude of the game, the weight of the game, who we're playing. Uh, but I'm glad we're back. Uh, Sunday's going to feel like a long way from now, but it's pretty much upon us. Um, got a few games to watch this weekend before our game. I think most people have their eyes on the, the, the Crystal Palace and, and City game, like myself. Looking forward to seeing that. But... Um, but it's in a really good way. And last year was last year. And like Klopp said, all these, these things about, you know, stats and the records and us not doing well at Old Trafford, it, it is what it is. It, it's, it's there to be broken. You know, that, that hoodoo is there to be broken. And so I expect to see us do that. Um, I spoke about it in the group chat with uh, Mame and, and uh, Gary about Genie. And Genie, again, is doing amazing things uh, for, for club and country. Uh, for country, he, he's another weekend or another international break where he gets a goal, not just a regular goal, an amazing goal, and just doing really well for that team. I love Genie. I would like to see that more for us. I think he's playing a different role. Um, but even even so, he's still a big-time player, a big-game player, and, and we see what he's, he, he did to help us out with Sheffield, obviously Barcelona. Um, he's done this. He's done this against City a season or two ago. Um, so, uh, yeah, shout-out Genie. Just looking forward to him continue to do his thing. I think it'll be the Champions League lineup. Uh, I know people are giving shouts for Naby and, and Ox. I'd be happy with that. The keeper. Looks like he's back. Um, I think if Adrian was worse than he has been, I think Allison probably, probably would have seen Allison maybe at the Leicester game. Um, but because Adrian's been so good, it's, it's afforded us that much more time to get him to 100%. So he should be pretty close to that, if not at 100% at this point. Um, when the club is keeping it hush hush, trying to pretty much saying that we, we got to really see about him, Matip, Salah. I, I think the guys will be ready to go for this game. And um, yeah, just looking forward to that. So. I don't know if it'd be nice to be a blowout. I'll take it. I'll take a, a, a one nil win. I'll take a last second own goal from Man United. I don't, obviously, it's all about three points for me, and um, and I really mean that. The performance is the performance, and obviously, I hope that we can put on a good one. There's no real excuse not to put on a good one. We've had enough break time now, um, enough time during the international break, I should say. 
Most of the guys came back. I think at the top of the week. I could be wrong. Let me know if I am. Uh, but it, everything looks really looks good for us. And it's just again, I've said it a lot of times. It's a beautiful time to be a Liverpool fan right now. Uh, we just look incredible. We look incredible and, and really pretty much unstoppable. So um, yeah, looking forward to this. I'm gonna go as I said in the group chat with uh, what did I say? Three nil. Um, Obviously, all due respect to Adrian, and I would never say a bad word about him, um, especially as good as he's been for us. Um, never mind what he's done at West Ham or wherever. But um, having Allison back, I think, and just that trust, again, nothing against Adrian. I think they developed that in, this, in, this, in this, this, these eight games. Um, but I just think having Allison back, I think we'll be even that much better defensively. I think we've been great defensively, honestly. No matter what people say, we still got the best defense in the league. People talking about the high line and all that foolishness. Um, and I can raise my hand to that. I probably was a, a bit um, uh, maybe negative about that early on. Uh, but I think what we're doing with the high line is great, honestly, uh, especially with VAR being in. But I think Alice, it's good, it'd be good to see Allison back in. I'm assuming that's what it is. The back four is the back four. I think there shouldn't be any changes in that, assuming uh, Matip is ready to go. And then, yeah, in the midfield, this thing is Fab, Genie, and, and Hendo. And front three is the front three. Um, hopefully Salah again is, 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 is good to go. If not, obviously, wouldn't mind seeing Origi in there. Uh, but I just cannot wait for this game. I can't wait to see the intensity levels um, and just that, that fight and, and, and that determination that this team has been showing um, over the last 18 months or so. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And um, I'm sure you guys are as well. So I'm signing off now. Next time you'll see me is probably an hour before kickoff on Sunday, I guess, evening your time, um, morning, afternoon, U.S. time. Football as well. Everybody's, everybody's family is good. Everybody's health is good. And um, we'll see you guys soon.